channel so I have a back take course coming out soon so for that I'm going to show a few things that I'm going to show on there um, three annoying things that I do from the back so once I go here I call this uh, the dark side when I land on this side I'm gonna bring my feet up start stomping on the person's hip but the first thing that I look to do is if I can grab the inside of the person's hand sometimes when you're on the back controlling the wrist is a little bit harder so I grab the inside of the person's hand almost like grabbing his pinky but I'm not bending it back it makes it very difficult for him now to rotate his wrist and get anything going right so when I get on someone's back it doesn't matter which side it is I get this grip it's really frustrating and as he starts going out if I had control of what I call the kill grip which just means I have deep inside the collar a lot of times I can get a finish from here because as he starts extending this arm he helps me rotate it through for like a half Nelson choke or controlling crossing and getting a finish so that's the first thing the second thing if for some reason I, I can't get that grip because he's keeping his hand closed you know he's in tight anytime I feel him going to rotate his wrist I'm just gonna do a karate chop so I do it here just bringing the back of my hand and flowing out here now he can't get that hand back and as we come back I look for that grip that I just had Right, so anytime I can't get this grip and I have to settle for the wrist, when he goes back, I just flare my hand out and that stops him from rotating and getting in front. And then there's just a battle here of me looking for his hand to get that control. Now, if I'm attacking his neck a lot of times, he's gonna come up with this, which leads to our third annoying thing. When we go here, I'll just pass and switch my hand. Right, so now I'm taking the bottom hand and controlling his top hand. Once we get here, if I can control this hand as well, you're into what's called straight jacket, which makes it very easy to control and trap his arm. So now I have both, and at any point, if I can control this, I can attack his neck. If, he, if I feel like he's rotating and I don't have the grip, look, I do that again. I bring it to my face if I have to, just clearing the gap. Now he can't get his hand out. I'll go back for control. Now I can wrench his face until I get up underneath there. But three really annoying things for him to defend against, if I can grab the inside of the hand, that's the first thing. Second thing, anytime he goes to rotate his hand, I can block it, I can grab my head, or I can just flare my hand like this, that stops him from getting that rotation, and then I go back to controlling his hand. Last thing, if I'm attacking his neck from the dark side, I can control his top hand and switch and get into the straight jacket system. So everything's up high, I trap his arm, I can cross my feet, I can bring it behind the back, and then I go back to our first two annoying things for the back. And then the entire time I'm just wrenching on the person's face until I can get underneath of his neck and get my finish. As always, no liabilities.